Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Do You Accept This Rose? So we're on week nine of this. We ended last week's episode, basically, Bennett and Noah were sitting down and Tasia comes out and she starts to talk to them and it's a two on one. So one of them was going home and one of them was getting a rose, or so we thought, but that's later to come. So she pulls Bennett aside first and Bennett starts like, just chatting away. The amount of times that the phrase like his IQ versus his EQ. What is an EQ? I assume it emotional. has some emotional. Well, he was talking about emotional intelligence, but what's the Q? What is the Q even? Because I would be like, I would be like intellectual or like. Yeah, so it's definitely emotional, but like, what is the? So while you look that up, basically she was like. I'm mostly upset because you questioned my integrity and my decision making and then he just kept being like, no, I didn't, let me explain, and then he like goes in that whole tangent again about like the four facets of emotional intelligence. Oh yeah, so it stands for emotional intelligence, otherwise known as emotional quotient. Okay. Quotient, that's how you pronounce it, right? Q-U-O-T-I-E-N-T. Quotient? Yeah. Basically emotional intelligence is what he's calling it. But he went to Harvard, so yeah. he's saying EQ. Yeah. And then she talks to Noah. Bennett looks down on me. He makes me feel like I'm less than him. And he was like, I can take it for a while, but like it gets old pretty quick. And then he like kind of starts to like cry. I don't think he was crying for like, oh, Tasia, like if I cry, I'll stay. I think it was literally like once he started talking about it, I yeah. feel like he probably was like, wait, this actually is kind of messed up. And like, I don't feel all right. Like he keeps on saying I'm stupid, which like he's not, he's a nurse. Obviously he has to, have, has to, my thing is if you're a nurse, you have to have a good EQ because like you have to be able to like care for others. That's literally your job. That's one of the things like when you're sworn in to be a nurse and you yeah. get your pinning ceremony, you go and like, you have to be like a good emotional person. And it's like, Bennett, you're probably, like, cutthroat in your job. He works for, like, some sort of, he, like, invests money. And, like, you're definitely not, like, a genuinely nice person in that field. But I feel like we're not seeing Bennett's actual personality. He seems, like, really, like, robot right now. Yeah, it's really strange. Yeah. So she decides to send Bennett home, and he's, like, really confused by it. And she's also like, I didn't want to send you home either. Which I'm also like, when did you become close to him? <laughs> but also, like, why are you sending him home then if you didn't want to, like, yeah, like send him home? keep them both. It's your show. Do whatever you want. Just whatever. tell him to stop. So he goes home. She's like, I'm not giving you the no... The nose. Not the noza. <laughs> I'm not giving you the rose, Noah. I'm gonna make you wait. After this two on one, they go straight to like the cocktail party. So there's still more time for like her to like not only hang out with Noah and not have it focused on like mm -hmm. why Noah doesn't get along with Bennett, but then also have it so that she can like interact with other guys and like compare Noah to the other guys and be like, do I like him more than them? Yeah. So then she doesn't hang out with Noah at all at the cocktail party. <laughs> Update. <laughs> she hangs out with like Riley who brings her a cake and is like, it's our one week anniversary. Okay, that again like confuses me of the timeline of things. Yeah, like what was a week ago? I think that was like three episodes ago. Oh, God. So like, my of thing when is- When they met? Has Tasia only been there for a week? Yeah, that's why I'm confused. Oh no, 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 she's been there longer than a week, remember like, probably like on the second or third episode with Tasia, mm -hmm. Riley was like, so I'm gonna ask you like, do you wanna be my girlfriend? Uh, do you like remember that? Yeah, I do remember that. So That's right. I think she's probably been there like two and a half weeks. Oh my God. So That's which crazy. like kind of throws me off cause I'm like, okay, by the end of it, if time is moving that quickly, she's literally gonna be engaged to someone after like three weeks. So like not that much longer than Claire and Dale. Some of them have already like professed their love. Yeah. They eat the cake. Um, <laughs> Zach gives her a framed picture of the two of them from the wedding photo shoot. Oh, that was really was cute. cute. That was cute. And then she goes to give out the roses. So Ivan, Ben, Zach, Brendan, Riley, Blake, and Noah get roses. And Damar, Spencer, and Ed get sent home. Which like, I'm not shocked. Damar, I think, was really sweet. I feel kind of bad. But, but like, Ed and Spencer. Oh, Spencer. But this <laughs> is the thing that throws me off, right? Like, I told you, the last, like, 
however many bachelorettes gave their first impression rose to the like guy they end up with. That's right. Like Claire did. Jojo did, Becca did, <laughs> who else was a bachelorette? Who was before Claire? Oh, oh Hannah. Yeah. They, who did she give it to? Jed, who won. Did she really? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So it's like all the guys who, like, Tasia really messed that. She's breaking the mold. Yeah, I feel like Spencer just had, like, a good like, night. Lives. Yeah. <laughs> He just had that like the sharp look, even though he started to look a little greasy. To yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> a lot greasy. It's fine. We jump to the one on one, which is with Ben. Cute. He was so sweet. He's really climbing the ranks with me. I saw a video yesterday. He like only waves like sideways, <laughs> so like he never waves like this. Like so, when Tasia was coming, he was like, "Hey, Tasia." No! And then when Jojo came, he was like, "Hey, Jojo." Like, what? But like Jojo loved the cameo there. I just like love oh, when she came in on the scooter. I think a lot of people, like after the season, myself included, were like Jojo and Chris Harrison should like share that job. They should. Like I it should like... be like a duel. Like they both do it. Yeah. Cause she makes it, I feel like it's a little less like awkward when it's her. Not that Chris it's Harrison's almost awkward, like but... she should be it for like the Bachelorette. And he could be it for The Bachelor. Because it's like more yeah. likely that a girl is going to want to confide in another girl to be like, this is how I'm feeling. Mm -hmm. And the same for like guy to guy. So I think that could be another suggestion. ABC. I just thought it was funny when she comes like whipping around the corner on like an electric scooter. Like Tasia's like, oh my god, look at you. It's so cute. And Ben was just like. Hi. Like, it was probably, like, hey. another, like, <laughs> Brendan situation with Chris Harrison. He was like, great, JoJo's here. <laughs> ben and Tasia go scooter riding together. Yeah, and it's like, find clues around La Quinta Inn that lead to, like, nothing, really. So they do that, and they have fun, and then it she's like... It looks cute. Yeah, it's The look only cute. comment, you probably thought the same thing, when they were playing, so they had to go to the tennis court and, like, get the clue, and it was in, like, a a mini pool of like tennis balls. He literally dumps hundreds of tennis balls mm -hmm. just like on the court and I'm like, who's gonna clean that up? My first thought when he flipped it was who's cleaning that? I literally was like, why would you ever do that? I would literally be like, no. If someone did that that I was on a date with, I'd be like, you can pick them up. So yeah, she has like a lot of fun with him, but then she's like, I feel like you're too perfect and you're not telling me everything. Okay, so he goes wow. on to tell her that like, he's really close with his sister, and he's like, she saved my life. And then he goes in to say that he tried to, like, take his own life twice in 2018 and 2019. So recent. And so recent. <laughs> like, I mean, depending on what part of 2019 it was, too, that could have been, like, months before mm -hmm. he was there. And then he's like, I'm so close to my sister, and, like, she doesn't even know, but, like, she did save my life. And he was like, I really want to thank her, but I don't want, like, people to treat me differently or feel like... His big thing is, like, he didn't want to worry his sister to the point where his sister didn't feel like that she could go do anything without constantly worrying, like, oh, is he in a good headspace today? Mm -hmm. So he ended up, like, saying he's been going to therapy and, like, he's a completely different person than he was two years ago. Like, that person he doesn't even recognize anymore. And Tasia was like, wow, okay, you've opened up to me, like, now I feel like I get the whole story. But it was funny, because, not funny, but he was like, you're the first person I've told. And I guess everyone that's going to watch this or something like that. And I was like, yeah, like, you can't really have, like, an intimate moment. Like, anytime you say something personal, like, it's going to be on for, like, millions of people to see. I feel like he's, like, the first person that's actually acknowledged that. Like, I just dropped a huge secret and everyone's gonna know now. Yeah, he really trusts her with his secrets. Yeah, and he got so happy afterward. Like, yeah. you could tell that he, like, felt so relieved. Yeah. And she handled it really well. Yeah, and then after that, they go to, like, a mini concert. Oh, I forgot about that. That was cute. Yeah, and he got the rose, obviously. Yeah. So he's going 100%. Well, I don't know if you're saying going to hometown, going to hometown week, but like they're staying at La Quinta. Do they set up the ballroom to look like someone's house? <gasps> Maybe they like put that in as a backdrop <laughs> and they're just like, this is what the front of our house looks like. Oh my God. And like typically on hometowns, like the guys plan the date. 
So, like, do the guys plan the date next week? Oh. Would they do stuff you'd do in their town, you know? Will Brendan be like, here's the donuts from the local? <laughs> here is Dunkin' Donuts iced coffee. Gets it, like, shipped in directly from Milford, Massachusetts. <laughs> okay, so we got highly sidetracked, but... Um. The group date is next, and they did like a polygraph test, which also that was definitely not real. <laughs> which type of polygraph test lights up? None, literally. And those are so like inaccurate. Yeah, even like the real ones. Like <laughs> everything you read, like okay, so Riley is what? Uh, he's like in police enforcement of some type. Yeah. And they asked him like, oh would you do this to your client? And he essentially was like, no, because they're not accurate. He, like, shut JoJo down really Yeah, harshly. he basically was like, no, this is dumb. This is not accurate. But, like, I'll play along. Especially, like, the, this one means you're telling the truth. This one is you're lying. This one is, it doesn't know. I'm like, that's not an option. How does the machine straight up say, I don't and know. And also, what was it connected to? Like, their arm? Was it measuring, like, their heart rate or something? something? She literally over their clothes, wrapped it around their Yeah, chest. and also, like, Jojo hasn't been, like, properly trained in that. It just, like, there's a lot of flaws with it. But anyway, so, like, a couple of the questions, like, they skimmed over, whatever. They were like, are you ready to meet Tasia's family? Or, no. Yeah. Yeah, are you ready? Or are you ready for, like, Tasia to meet your family? Yeah, and both Ivan and Brendan were kind of like, oh, I don't know, which I thought was, like, fair. I'm like, I mean, I wouldn't you feel that way yeah and then the other one was like are you ready to like propose by the end of it and brendan was like i hope so yeah oh they asked zach have you ever cheated on someone and he immediately is like yes then you flash forward we'll flash back afterwards but we're flashing forward to her and zach's like date like their time together at the night she was like i don't tolerate cheaters and he was like well can i tell you what happened and he basically goes on to say that he cheated on his sixth grade girlfriend. Yeah, by just like kissing someone in a bowling alley. And I, and she was like, why did you like, Which, why did yeah. you have to punk me like that? And he was like, well, I didn't know how accurate the polygraph was. It would have looked <laughs> worse if they were like, have you cheated on someone? And he said no. And then it was like, that's a lie. They asked if he was falling in love with her on the polygraph test and he says yes and then when they're talking later he's like I hated that because I wish I could have told you just us like mm -hmm. I'm falling in love with you and then she was like I'm falling in love with you too yeah and then they kiss yeah so flash back now flash back <laughs> to when they're doing the polygraph thing the only other like noteworthy moment was when Riley like Jojo was like okay I'm gonna like ask some baseline questions just to basically like verify that this is working correctly on you just confirm that your name is like Riley so and so. And he was like, true. And then it was like, <laughs> lie, like, lie, lie, lie. And everyone was like, what? Like, like that's not your name? How did what? you not on the spot ask for clarification? So everyone was kind of like, wait, what? Your name's not Riley. <laughs> it's so confusing. And then, like, you find, like, you're like, what happened? Like, is something sketchy going on? And then, like, later, flash forward. You find out that, like, he was originally named after his dad, and then him and his dad had a falling out, so he ended up, like, changing his name. Yeah, to, like, start over. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then, at the end of this, she basically comes out and was like, I can't give out. <laughs> She's like, I can't give out a group date, Rose. Like, mm -hmm. I still need some time to, like, mull it over. Because if she gives out the rose, then, like, she meets their family. And I think she's kind of like, all right, I need to figure out. Like, <laughs> all of you are weirding me out today. Yeah. <laughs> Weird vibes. <laughs> I don't want to pick anybody. So then after the group date, this is, like, literally right after. She's walking back to her suite, opens up the gate, and Bennett's legit like, hello, Tasha. <laughs> just just <laughs> she, standing there. And she's like, <laughs> she's like, what? Bennett? And he's just like smiling like it's no good deal. He's, and he's like the robot he is. He's like, yeah. he's like, may I come inside? May I come inside? And he's like, I hate the way we ended it. it. Repeats a lot of things, but then basically is like, I came back because I am in love with you and I need to stay here, but you don't need to respond. And she's like, good, because I'm not going to tonight. Yeah. He tries to kiss her. Yes! And she's like, I literally just said I need a moment. So she was like, you can kiss me on the cheek, whatever. Yeah. And then... She's like freaking out. Oh. That's how this week's ends. Yeah, and we see that next week is a two-part, Monday and Tuesday. 
I think one of the days is just like the mentella. Ugh, I hate when they do that. Um, and then <laughs> <laughs> the only thing I could like confidently say is like a lot of the guys. Well, you know Bennett comes back. Like you see yeah. him re-entering and being like, "Hello, man. What's up? Whatever." Yeah. So you know, like she's like, "All right, you can come back." But then you see a lot of like people crying. Yeah. So I think it's like he comes back and they're all kind of like WTF. What does this mean for us? Yeah. You really don't know who's left and who's not left. The only person that's safe right now is Ben. Yeah. Because he has a rose. So that's kind of where we lead off. Mm -hmm. So I think it's going to be Ivan, Ben, Zach. Brendan. Brendan. <laughs> there you go. Are the hometowns. I do too. I just... Do we want to like re-rank them? I hate to say it. But I gotta, my boy Ivan is dropping from one to two, and Ben is now my number one. Uh huh. Three is Zach, four is Brendan. I think last is gonna be Ivan. Just because, like, I feel like he hasn't gotten They're a lot of screen time. The like, there's no screen time about it. That's true. Um, third is gonna be Brendan. Because, like, again, the screen time, like, maybe that'll change. But recently, we've been getting a lot of Ben and Zach screen time. Yeah. I think Ben will be one, Zach two. Hey. Just because, like, we literally, the only people we've seen, and we've really got a whole lot of Ben this week because the one-on-one. -on -one. So, like, now, yeah. looking at it, I'm like, okay, their connection is the strongest. And then we got a lot of Zach time, too. I literally do, haven't seen, like, a conversation with Brendan or Ivan. That's true. And it's like, that doesn't, they're great guys. I just, I don't know what's going on with them. I'm biased towards Ivan, and that's why he's second. But I feel like when I actually think about it, I would put Zach Like, that's Ivan. not how I want it to be. Like, I genuinely like Ivan that's and Brendan so. more. Mm -hmm. But I don't, I mean, after this week, I mean, it could change next week completely. We will see you next week. See you at, at hometowns at Lakita Inn. <laughs> Oh my god.